Hi, I was going to try to show you a little thing tonight that I've been trying. I'm using the caps off of one gallon Arizona iced tea. I cut just the cap off and a little section of the bottle, rough them both up, glue them together so I end up with a two-sided compartment that's airtight with lids. Just like you do with the regular pop bottles, this is just a little bit bigger. In one side, I'm taking a sponge. That sponge can be shot with any scent lure, or you can put it with blood or anything like that that would be an attractant. I also, to make a bait, made a pinch straw. Cut off a small piece of a straw, pinch it with a pair of pliers, and touch it with heat. That'll seal off one side, and then you feel the other side with peanut butter or whatever you would want to be your bait. Then to seal it off, you just pinch it off again. Touch it with a little bit of flame. Then your bait would be sealed inside airtight. When you want to use your bait, just trim off an end and pinch it off or, or pinch it out just like you would any condiment. And you could put that straight onto that sponge and use this actually as your bait pan. On the other side, You have an 18 inch steel leader that's rated at 45 pounds. On one side there's a snap swivel. On the other side it's just a regular barrel swivel. If you feed the barrel swivel through the snap swivel, what you've ended up with is a small, small uh, slip snare. If you tie the snap swivel or the little barrel swivel to your paracord then you could easily tie it off to a branch or tree or make a jump snare this being the catalyst that would draw them in the nice thing about having the large sized caps is your snares however many of them you want to put in here will fit easily inside the empty side. So now in effect what you have is your snare and your bait or attractant inside a watertight and uh, sealable carry capsule that will also act as your bait pan when you come in. The larger snares for coyotes and fox will also fit in here, but you're only going to be able to put one in at a time. But that you could spray it with uh, any coyote or fox attractant scent, or spray it with any blood and uh, attract them in like you would with a rabbit. Just thought that would be something that might be found useful.